Hey, this is David Ellison here. Frank Bello. We are from, obviously, Megadeth and Anthrax, also Altitudes and Attitude, and we want to introduce our new coffee from Ellison Coffee Company, our signature roast, Altitudes and Attitude, a fine Indonesian light espresso roast. Pick it up, ellisoncoffeeco.com. Very well said. Oh, wait a second, we forgot something. A proud sponsor of the Metal Voice. <laughs> exactly what he said. <laughs> Welcome to the Metal Voice. We're at the Hall of Heavy Metal History with the one and the only, Mr. Jeff Scott Soto. Where? Where? How you doing, brother? Good, good, good. All right. Tell me about all the new... Well, we're not going to sit here for hours, <laughs> but just give me a couple of new uh, product that's coming out. We're wrapping the new Soto record. Uh, we got Soto on the same label as Sons of Apollo, so it's really exciting because we actually have a fighting chance to get this band out and kicking. Uh, so as we're wrapping that album in the next two weeks, we, we're, we've already started the next Sons of Apollo record. So we've got a, a little simultaneous action going like we did last year. Or, or no, two years ago when I was recording so many different things. I, I'm basically trying to keep up with Mike Portnoy because he's constantly <laughs> doing multiple things. It's like, if he can do it, I can do it. <laughs> All right, so tell me about Sons of Apollo. I mean, are you writing the lyrics? Is Mike writing the lyrics? I primarily write my ideas and what I feel and what I hear and all that initially and then I send it to the guys and then we tweak it and, and chisel it and work on it, craft it, get it all together as a band. Is this going to be part two of the first album, the debut? I believe it'll be more of a part two than a departure or an extension. I, I think it'll be more of an extension or a part two of the first album. We're not looking to experiment to try something we didn't already plant the seed of. So. We're, we're more or less establishing and growing the tree now. You know, it's, it's amazing. This album comes out, and it's very rare that a super group stays together, but not only stays together, but you guys, you played Montreal, you played all North America, and people actually knew the songs. It's very rare that a new band comes together and that's, that has a legacy like you guys have. I mean, what, what do you make out of all that? Well, the first thing we threw out the window when putting this together is the word super group. We didn't want that label. We didn't want that... We didn't even want the pressure of that because a, a super group, as far as I'm concerned, it should sound like where everybody came from all in one big pile or one big stew. And that's the one thing we didn't want. Of course, you hear the dream theater tendencies. You hear where we all come from, but that's where we all come from. We're not trying to just pick up where any of those bands left off. We're trying to plant our own seed and, and make our own, you know, grow our own legs with this band. And that, I think we did that with the first record. What do you see as a musical direction happening on this album? Well, so it's, shape, as it's shaping up, it's still very powerful, energetic, and of course, it, it does have a lot of proggy tendencies. But obviously, when I get into it and I do my thing, I have a lot of classic rock and hard rock tendencies. So it, we don't even consider us as a prog band. It's it's we're a hard rock band with classic rock and prog rock tendencies. That's how I see it. Anything else you want to promote? Soto and Sons of Apollo. That's my life right now. Trans Siberian Orchestra in the winter time, and for the most part. I'm busy. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks for doing the interview. Appreciate it. it, buddy. All right. All right. Let's... Where are you, Jeff? Come here. There you are. Because I want to talk to you. Okay. Yes. It's such an honor, such a pressure to be here to present you this award. Because not only are we friends, but I am a fan of yours. I've watched you for many years being a badass with Infe Momstein. You know how badass you have to be to play with Inve? This is the guy right here. Right after that, you know what, Journey. You know how badass you gotta be to sing with Journey? This guy right here. Talisman, right? Um, the next one will be Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Your solo work. And, well, who's leaving the best last? <laughs> Sons of Apollo, yeah. Jeff, I am so honored to induct you into the Heavy Metal Hall of History. Let's hear it for Jeff Scassano! Rudy Sarzo! I love this man. Thank you so much. Rudy, Rudy, stay there. Look at this, this is pretty cool. This only, this means two things to me when I think about it. 
It's kind of a validation of all the endeavors, all the hard work, all the things that we've all done, the things we've been through to get to where we are today, to get something like this. Or it could just mean we're part of the old club now, right? But uh, I want to thank, uh, first I want to thank my mother because she was the biggest supporter, my biggest cheerleader. She's always to this day, the one person that every time I go out on the road, she says, Jeff, go on that stage and show everybody what a superstar you were born to be. She still says that to this day. So it's my mother. My son, Jason, my stepkids, Joseph and Grace, my wife, Ellie, she's been witnessing the past 12 of the past, what is it, 35 years I've been doing this professionally. So uh, 35 years, shit. Where did it all go? Um, I want to say thanks to my band, Soto. Great band. We got a new album coming out in May on uh, Inside Out Music, Century Media. Yeah, shameless plug. We love you. We miss you, Dave Z. Also, uh, I want to thank the organizers, Pat, and everybody part of this incredible event. Thank you so much for thinking that I actually even belong in this room of so many great people, including Mike Portnoy, Sons of Apollo, yeah! But the one guy, this one person I really want to thank. It started for me 35 years ago, this one person that looked at me and said, I'm going to give this 18-year-old Puerto Rican kid with really shitty hair a chance to front me and take me to the next level of my own solo career. This one guy, everybody thinks we don't get along, everybody thinks we don't like each other, but contrary to belief, from this day forward, I give nothing but love and respect to Ingve Malmsteen. You can put that shit on Blabbermouth. Thank you so much for this. This is fucking awesome. I'm in great company. Max Norman, Frank Villo, I mean everybody, all my friends, Rudy Sarzo, Eddie Trunk, so many of the people I love and, and hold near and dear to me. Thank you so much. You guys have a great night.